process is simple. Uh, there's these little copper dudes. You'll want some sandpaper. Uh, just so the, the, the metal doesn't shard outward, I always just sand the edges real quick. Pretty simple here. We're going to drop in just a little super glue. This is all stuff you'd have in your normal build, right? So we're just going to drop in a little super glue. That was a lot of super glue because I'm going quick. <laughs> It'll sand out later when we radius it. No, so I'm just, gonna, gonna, I'm just going to uh, try not to your fretting hammer. Try not to splash that excess on there. Okay, it's in there. It's set. Uh, hopefully I don't glue too much on there right now. You've probably learned the note card trick in the, in the uh, hole punt. I put a couple in there just to go over the top. Uh, clamps are your friends. If you're going to cut from right-handed clamp this side, I always love it when the students put the clamp on one side like so, and then as they're cutting the whole board, you're going rah, rah, rah. So <laughs> you want to you clamp both sides. I'm going to fit. Whoops. This one put that side. I'm going to start nice and slow in here. Actually, I'm going to go fast because I am every time. Hold it, fingers. Oh, Mr. I, 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 we get up here. I, I start on there. I, I, my rule is once you get halfway through the, 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 the piece is no longer. Yeah, let me take a picture of her with you. So, she <laughs> so that hasn't taken too long. We're through the aluminum. Just so you can see the process. Now there's little shards. It goes outward off the base, kind of mushroom there. That's what you have to come back and just sand to get off. I'll do one more uh, here before we see that next step. Uh, I'm going to try and not put so much glue. It's kind of my new fret dots. And we'll tap that guy down. I got a little burr there because I'm going so fast. So I got to sand that all the way out. That's why you. Notice. <laughs> Notice they came in here thinking it was. But you synchronize the fret hammer with the bends. Yeah. 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 Little piece go. This it's one's got a little bend in it. Under. 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 There we go. I'm gonna go to this one because that guy's got a little bend in it. Yeah, if it gets too warped, you don't want to use that. Is that a brake line? Yeah, no, I mean, your aluminum, yeah. is that just a brake line? Uh, just copper tubing that... Yeah, this piece here. Oh. Uh, not that it looks like it, but it's just a straight old hobby shops carry them, or yeah. that company that rhymes with Amazon, you can buy a quarter-inch tubing there, quite simply. Just about it looks like just about hard So you get the idea time. here. There's two of them, and you just go down the line to do that. You may or not have one of these. You might do different files. This yeah. is the Stumac fancy one. We can work with one. Uh, at this point, I like to come back in, and while I left this one raw, these are fresh. I let it dry for like usually 15 minutes. This one had already been dry, so I'm just going to take that that file that you probably you're probably already going to have in your uh, your build kit. I'm just going to file it down. The files are really easy. I like these because they don't go through the wood. Here's the other secret: spice a nail is you circle around to get any any shards just to get the extra inward shards out of it some of my students didn't clean them up real well on on those head socks going around and so you can kind of see there's little aluminum flakes in them still looks good though so we cleaned it up this is the same nail i used to match because it's metal to do the side for a dots it's a friggin nail it's like it's a few cents <laughs> It's lit, and then it looks sexy when you're done. Because <laughs> it's a, still a dot, and we love dots. Now we can get into the epoxy stuff. And the kids love this. Uh, some of them, you can get this stuff in all kinds of colors. I have a girl right now. She's doing uh, basically a rainbow up and down. Wasn't my favorite look, but she digs it, and she's really happy. Uh, I said, as long as you buy all the colors. Uh, this stuff is so easy to work with two parts. It's like 50-50. You get a little bit of each half and the color you want. How am I doing on time? You got about five minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you can take two more. Take a breath, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to let this. you finish. You got this. You got this. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, I'm going to call that roughly 50-50. That's way more than I needed. And you put the gloves on because safety, health, all that stuff's good. You don't want to get that. Uh, you just mix it till till it turns black. Uh, you can start to feel a little of that heat. Uh, this stuff is just some. Picture. I just have the price on it. Sorry, yeah, this is just some copper uh, line. I don't even know what that would normally be for with it. For the hobby shops, you do copper and lines, like the nail trick. Unless you have copper nails, you could 
Use those to do the side fret dots. That'll look sexy too. Oh, copper nails. Mm -hmm. but most of this stuff, stuff you just got in your wood shop. It's pretty, pretty easy to do this. You lose about one day of class time because it's got to harden. So if, if you, uh, my school, they give me a semester to do the build. I'm still aching for a year so I can get more of the uh, uh, lessons and, and there. I try and get at least three every build in. Uh, I'd like to do about seven or eight of the academic lessons, if not ten. Uh, it's probably more than mixed here. A little, little uh, dab will do you. Try not to get it into the fret slots. I had some students do that. They don't like cutting that out <laughs> later. One fancy student this year realized, hey, I could take the back of the nail and kind of like a tamping rod and just pat it on down. Uh, you can add more. And just, just make sure it gets into the hole. Okay, so that's that part of the, uh, the build. And usually uh, I would let it go all the way to the... Uh, radius beam and we just sand it off and it's going to look clean as can be mm -hmm. but just so you get an idea we can use the, the file to reveal so I've got one that is hardened here on this cooking show you put in one of them okay. <laughs> 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 and the swap so you, outs and so you get an idea of what it'll look like uh, if there's one this fret yeah. one here a student uh, got got crazy with the cheese whiz and had fun <laughs> so it took copper on the outside and then we just found a stainless steel rod on the inside mm. Can we do it? I don't know. Let's try. So we did grab scrap wood. We did one. It worked. And uh, did take forever on the radius beam when sanding it because it kept wearing out the middle of the, the paper. <laughs> so we kept having to add new paper over and over again. But it, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this stuff with aluminum takes hardly anything off the sandpaper. So I don't know that I would normally do this. Uh, but I just wanted you to see what the heck is under there because it's cool. Uh, I get excited about it. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is that part of the evening and I'm starting to get to the real nitty gritties. And you it's not gonna be as clean as when we sand it, but all of a sudden you're seeing this fret dot, nice. a metal exterior, uh, solid black inlay. Uh, and we get some of Alex's uh, beeswax fretboard stuff after it's all uh, uh, smooth and radiant.